What's good, y'all? It's boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out Sasha Banks WWE return a done deal. WWE star a uh, major push. Legend to never wrestle again in other wrestling news by WrestleMania, man. I want to give a Merry Christmas to everyone out there watching, man. And I have a, a special lineup for you guys for Christmas today. I'm going to be dropping three videos, man. That's right. Three videos going to be dropping uh, on on today for you guys for Christmas, man. Because, you know, I want to show my... Uh, appreciation to you guys for supporting me so we're gonna be checking out three different videos and i'm gonna be dropping them all today so i hope you guys enjoy that and i wanted to definitely check this one out first so let's see what's going on here uh with the the sasha banks news i'm very interested to see how that's gonna play out let's get right into this one let me pull it up for you guys didn't mean to do that angle let's do this thing man Right, it's going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including Has Cody Rhodes really re-signed with WWE? Huge names have left AEW? Is Sasha Banks returning to WWE a done deal? A wrestling legend will never wrestle again? A WWE star set for a major storyline and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive links. Also check out the you website WrestleMania.com. And now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Let's do it. Now our first story looks at has Cody Rhodes really re-signed with WWE? And Top Story today takes a look at the latest news regarding Cody Rhodes staying in WWE. This weekend, it was reported by Dave Meltzer from the Wrestling Observer that WWE had re-signed Cody Rhodes to a new deal. Mm. Cody Rhodes will be in WWE for a while longer as he signed a new contract with the company in October, according okay. to our Dave Meltzer. This news comes on the heels of a Fightful report that WWE was looking to sign Rhodes to a new deal imminently as it was a priority for TKO leadership. The length and financial terms of the new contract is unknown, but Meltzer said it was a similar timing situation to Charlotte Flair, where it was learned this month she signed a new contract months prior. But in a slightly contradictory report, Fightful Select is reporting that Rhodes didn't in fact re-sign with WWE back in October, however he is expected to re-sign in the near future. A Fightful reported that Friday that WWE was looking to imminently re-sign him. This weekend, Wrestling Observer reported that a deal was signed in October, but sources close to Cody himself said that there was some confusion on that front. Hmm. Their claim is that the approach and initial offer from WWE was made in October, but no deal was signed at that point. One is expected to be signed and an agreement is in place, we're told. There were several wrestlers who were also under the impression that Rhodes had re-signed or was going to imminently. A re-signing Rhodes will no doubt be one of the WWE's top priorities as we oh, head into sure. 2024. Rhodes has virtually ascended to become the face of the company over the past year, and he's firmly expected by many fans to be crowned as a new undisputed WWE Universal Champion at WrestleMania 40. Yeah, Thank I just don't see him not re-signing. That would, wouldn't even make sense, considering there's plenty of story left for him to tell, and his story to hopefully finish at next year's WrestleMania. Please, please. Just, I just hope they do the right thing and have him finish the story. But yeah, he wasn't going nowhere. He, he is the still one of the biggest baby faces. I, I think he's still. I know P, see people still love CM Punk, and he, he gets a lot of love because he's back. But I still think Cody's. I don't know. It, it, he may be still one of the the top baby faces. I, you can really interchange them, but I, I think Cody still has that number one spot. Because everywhere he goes, it doesn't matter if the crowd is dead for everything else. They they show some love to Cody Rhodes, man. The crowd awakes when he his music hit. Uh, we haven't really seen too much of CM Punk yet, but I'm sure you know it, it's gonna be one A one B type situation. They they're they're both incredibly over, but I think Cody still is the number one babyface in WWE right now. Next up, big names leave AEW. There's two significant names within AEW who are expected to leave the company. Rafael Morphy, who serves as the Vice President of Live Events and Touring, will be exiting the company as per a new report from Fightful Select. A major name within All Elite Wrestling is expected to leave the company. Word has made its way around the industry that longtime AEW employee Rafael Morphy will be finishing up with the company at the end of the year. 
Morphe has served as vice president of live events and touring. Morphe has teased new opportunities of late and is expected to be pursuing other interests in 2024. Though the news was discussed within the industry, it didn't seem to make its way around backstage at AEW tapings in recent weeks. Morphe has worked for both WWE and TNA Wrestling in the past, where he served as senior director of live events for the latter. He also worked for the New York Cosmos soccer team. Fightful Select has also reported that another key name is leaving the company. Fightful Select and Raj Giri have also learned that as of now, Chief Marketing and Merchandise Officer Dana Macy uh, is set to finish up with AEW. She's been there since the start and is married to Matt Jackson of the Young Bucks. Yeah, I think I did hear about that. It's unclear why exactly all these prominent names are departing the company, but if more information surfaces, we'll always keep you posted. Next up, WWE. Yeah, I'm not, not sure what's going on with that. You know, there's a lot of things that AEW needs to get sorted out, especially behind the scenes, so I wouldn't look too much into it but you know i can't really comment on it because I'm, I'm sure it doesn't affect you know the television show that much so we'll see where things go but um as of right now they i still feel like they have bigger issues to worry about when it comes to aew and just the show and the product as a whole we crown match the year the wwe's tournament to crown the 2023 match of the year has officially come to a close WWE fans via YouTube have voted in the tournament all week and the final came down to Roman Reigns vs Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania 39 mm. and Cody Rhodes vs Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. Wow. Reigns vs Rhodes won the vote by a considerable margin and is now officially known as the WWE's Match of the Year of 2023. Wow. If you guys agree with this, let us know in the comments down below. I mean, the match was good. That match was really, really, really good. I think for me, what kind of just took it down, and I I personally wouldn't say it's match of the year for WWE, is because of the ending. I, I just because we've seen that version of the ending before, you know? <laughs> so, especially when it involves the bloodline and, and especially involving Solo. That's what happened to Drew McIntyre. So, it... it to me, I wouldn't say that. But it it is a very good match. Up to that point, I was just like, oh, this is this is fucking great. They man, this is fantastic. And then once they did that, I was like, ah, ah man. It, it kind of took me out of it, but still a very good match. Very, very good match. Next up is Sasha Banks returning to WWE a done deal. And for the past month or so, there's been rumblings that Mercedes Money, aka Sasha Banks, may be returning to WWE. These rumors have escalated thanks to recent comments from NXT commentator Booker T. On the latest edition of his Hall of Fame podcast, the Hall of Famer declared that he believes that the former multi-time women's champion of returning is a done deal and Banks will be back in 2024. I'm not a huge New Japan Pro Wrestling viewer. I'm not going to say I'm a fan because I've seen stuff that I do like and I try to check out the Wrestle Kingdoms every year around this time of the year, but yeah, it seems like it's too long. It seems like she's been gone too long. I hope she comes back, man. You can think about all the badass matches that we can see again. And it's not like she was gone that long. I mean, it was been a year or so, a year mm -hmm. and a half or something like that. And you never know. And the thing is, obviously, there's a new regime in town. There's a different way of thinking in town. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of the issues that she was not too pleased with before are no longer a factor. Yeah. He says on his shirt, hell froze over and CM Punk came back after 10 years. You yeah. know what I mean? There's a lane for Sasha Banks to stash Mercedes money. And I'm making a prediction. I'm calling it. She's back in 2024. In WWE, it's a done deal in my mind. If Banks does indeed return to WWE, it'll be interesting to see how the WWE re-debut her. The most logical place would be at the Royal Rumble next month, mm -hmm. as Banks being a surprise entrant in the match would be a surefire way to generate buzz, and she will no doubt receive one of the biggest ovations of the entire show. No, nah, facts, up, bro. It, it, I'm, I'm with Booker T on this one. Yeah, things are different. If CM Punk can come back to WWE of all places, there's no reason why she can't. She had some similar gripes, too, with how things were being booked. And, you know, her and Triple H, you know, they, they're very cool with each other. I'm pretty sure they have still been cool with each other. I can easily see her coming back at the Royal Rumble. If not at the Royal Rumble sometime next year. And I can see them paying top dollar to make sure she stays. And I'm all for it. Some of y'all may not want her back or care to have her back. That's fine. I, the, the division, 
goes up even more with her being there. So, I'm going to leave it at that. Wrestling legend will never wrestle again. One of AEW's most controversial signings in 2023 was the signing of Ric Flair. Fans were quick to question why Tony Khan would sign Flair to a contract and it later surfaced that Flair coming into the company was linked with a sponsorship deal AEW had with Flair's energy drink. Mm -hmm. When Flair signed with AEW, he embarked on several interviews with media outlets and during these various interviews, the Hall of Famer heavily hinted that he was going to wrestle again. Thankfully, in Flair's latest interview with the Wrestling Classic, the Nature Boy has confirmed he has no plans on wrestling ever again. Good. Hard working, period. I've known Tony Khan for a long time. We've been great friends and the opportunity just presented itself probably because of Sting. But I'll be there, you know, a couple of years after Sting is gone too, so I don't know what it leads to. I like to manage my son-in-law Andrade and I want to be a heel again somewhere. My health is good. I've been cleared. I can get in the ring. I'm not going to wrestle. Let's clarify that. Got that subject worn out. But I just really enjoy it. Tony is a great guy and it's a great atmosphere and when I walked into the restroom for the first time I didn't realize how many guys from the WWE are over there. They've got a tremendous crew and edge coming over. Do you think Flair staying retired is the right move? Let us know in the comments down below. Nah, I, 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 got, I got a little bit worried when she said, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm healthy. You know, I'm clear to go, but I'm not going to go. Nah, nah, that leaves too much room. No. And I love Ric Flair for what he's done for the wrestling business, but no. 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 He should not be wrestling. I know some people, but, oh, this is his love. I get it. No. At some point, you just it's time to hang it up. And he should have hung it up a long time ago. He should have. I still stand by once HBK initially retired him at that WrestleMania. That should have been his last match. Obviously, that wasn't. I just think he should not be wrestling. If he wants to be a manager, wants to be out there doing his thing, fine, cool. I'm here for it. Do your thing. I just don't think he should be out there wrestling after, <laughs> you know, the stuff he's done to his body, the things he's been through physically. No, no just relax. Enjoy you know, the rest of your years without getting in the ring. That's what I stand on. Next up, does AEW have the next Randy Orton? Speaking of the Nature Boy Ric Flair, also during his interview with the Wrestling Classic, Flair discussed AEW World Champion MGF. Flair had nothing but praise for the talented star and a huge compliment, Flair outright stated that MGF could be the next Randy Orton. Well, number one, I think he's MGF actually. He comes across as confident in real life as he comes across with his confidence in the ring. Mm -hmm. And he's got a good interview. He's got a great look. He worked hard. I think he's got the confidence in real life that he portrays on television. And I think the future is unlimited for him. And he's really good. He could be the next Rand Yorton. That's about as high a praise as I can give him. This is a bold yet flattering comparison. And this will no doubt lead mm -hmm. to extensive discourse across social media platforms in the coming days. Flair worked closely with Orton during Orton's early days in WWE as a two made up of 50% of the iconic Evolution stable. So if anyone could compare a wrestler to the legendary Orton, it's certainly Ric Flair. Fair point. But I think he's just going to be MJF. The guy is certified. He is certified. Dude is fantastic in the ring. Fantastic on a promo. He has it. He's really good as a heel. He works as a babyface. He can pull it off as a cool, edgy babyface, but he's fantastic as a, he, he's good. He's very good. I I'm, I know some people, be like, oh, it would be cool if he went to WWE. I think he would still work in WWE. Some people think he wouldn't. He would because he would, he, he, he knows how to get a reaction. He knows if he can get you with just his words, that's it. It's, you're good. So I, I do think he could work in WWE. Of course, he wouldn't be able to say the stuff that he, you know, used to say in AEW, but that don't mean you can't work. You That don't mean you can't come off convincing. That don't mean you can't give be aggressive. That doesn't mean you can't be a good heel it, just because of, you know, the TV rating. He can still, I think, work effectively, and he would reach a bigger audience. That's all I want for him. To be able to be seen by as many people as possible. But right now, he is the guy for AEW. He's holding it down for AEW. And, you know, I can't take nothing away from that. So. Finally, a WWE star set for a major storyline. 
Our final story today examines a recent report related to former WWE uh -oh. Women's Champion Liv Morgan. Despite Morgan's recent arrest, it was reported last week that this won't affect her positive standing within the company. Additionally, a new report in the Wrestling Observer newsletter indicates that Morgan is set for a major storyline. Morgan has been out of action with a shoulder injury but was scheduled to be returning soon. The belief within the company is that this will not affect her standing and her return will take place as scheduled as she was scheduled to be in a major storyline upon her return. Okay. Fans are already speculating that this major storyline is inked to a potential Royal Rumble win. Morgan challenging her former teammate Rhea Ripley would make a ton of sense, yet it does seem based on reports, as well as WWE's direction on TV, that Ripley vs Becky Lynch is the plan for WrestleMania 14 yeah. in April. But there you have it folks, yeah. the wildest news- Yeah, uh, no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, even with uh, Liv going to jail, or being, well, being arrested, I still couldn't buy into her beating, actually beating Rhea Ripley. Stop it. Cut it out. Stop it. No. No amount of swerving in the streets going to make me buy into Liv Morgan beating Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley's on another level now. And it, it's sad to say because it's not because of the great matches she's had. It's because of her ties to the Judgment Day and her personality and everything that's come with it. She is, her stock is risen, you know, but she can have great matches. So I'm not going to discredit her hat there. She can have some good matches. It's just the feud she's been involved in have been lukewarm to really non-existent as of late. But if they do something with her, I know she's going to be heavily involved. You know, hopefully they do something with her that really spices up her character when she comes back. That's the only thing. Spice up her character. Maybe make her be a little bit more serious going in. I think that would be cool too. Uh, for just my personal opinion with Liv Morgan give us something more serious I can buy into and then you never know if, at some point if they build her up right maybe she does become a viable option to potentially take out Rhea and people can buy into it so because one thing with Becky people can buy into Becky and Rhea Ripley going at it because we look at Becky as this this no nonsense you know trash talker that will fight anybody no matter how big or small they are she will bring the ass whooping to them and you can buy into that with um with Liv we gotta wait and see what they do with her on her return but comment down below let me know what you guys thought about the the latest news from Wrestlemania um let me know how y'all feeling about potentially Sasha Banks return do you feel like it's already set in stone do you think she's gonna return at the Royal Rumble or sometime next year let me know and once again like I said uh Merry Christmas to everyone this is gonna be one of three videos I drop today for you guys on Christmas Day so I hope you guys enjoy the Christmas present and and hope you guys are enjoying yourself with your family friends and loved ones for christmas but i appreciate all the love support road to 150k and i'm still getting on the speed to youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace